G'day guys, welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. So, I showed you in maybe yesterday's video, I don't know. I made a mistake guys, sorry you didn't get a view on uh, Tuesday or Wednesday. I actually had recorded that flower horn video and I had edited it and I had even rendered it. I just didn't hit upload, my bad. Um, so, we, so, if you saw in the video, I've got a bit of an algae problem in my koi pond. Um, I do own an 80 watt UV light, but you guys know I love to save my electricity. So I'm gonna put a shade sail up first. I'm only gonna put the UV on if we have to. Um, and I'm actually not 100% sure how much a UV is gonna do for hair algae. Um, I know it only gets waterborne algae, but I get that hair algae, the particles float through the water. So there is the chance that it will help with the hair algae, but like I said, 80 watts worth of electricity is quite a lot, and the globes are bloody expensive, and I think the globe's out of date, so well, it, it needs replacing. So we're going to do everything we possibly can to um, avoid getting a new globe. I also need to purchase some more gutter guard on the weekend, and um, I also need to. Um, I need to fix some fittings. There's actually quite a few leaks on the filter on my um, on my koi pond, so we've got to fix that. All right, guys. I'm not sure where I left off. I had a friend come over. They bought their dog, and both dogs decided that it was a good idea to piss all over the shade sail. So. Um, I'm washing the shade sail in the pond. I think I told you guys that we were hanging the shade sail already in the intro. Whoa, I just covered the camera in water. So, this is how you wash your shade sail. I'm guessing like dog piss is like no different to fish waste. Hopefully the filter filtration can handle that. Kind of ironic when I just told you guys I'm having a bit of a bio um, waste issue. Alright, so that that's the far corner oh. I always get so paranoid doing this like glass so we need this corner here but, oh, now the dog's doing a poo we don't need to see that on camera do you reckon I can get this on one handed? I'm gonna try for the vlog. Alright, so I feel like I've done this on camera before. Let me know in the comments if you're a viewer from before this time last year if I've hung this shade sail with one hand on the channel before. Oh, it's all good hanging it with one hand but it would help if I got the camera on the, in the right spot oh the camera's gonna go flat all right it's on it's on I'll see you guys with the new battery all right guys so this it's actually a bit of a process putting this up the hardest part is I need to get the ladders out we need two ladders for this process. So this here, the trick is, I stand up on the koi pond, and then, how did it, somehow, I managed to wedge that buckle there, and that sits there waiting for me. I don't have my offsider today guys, she's um trying to get some paperwork sorted. I don't know where my ladder is. Alright, I'll see you on the roof. Alright guys, I do this every time. I get up here barefoot and it hurts my feet. It hurts my fiddles. It's like I'm not proud of my roof guys. Don't judge me for it. You can see like I kinda try to high pressure clean it. I don't know, oh no actually, I wasn't trying to pressure clean it for aesthetics, I was actually um, pressure cleaning it 
to get the leaves off and the moss so that's why it looks like it's half pressure cleaned um, so you guys are going to judge me for this connection I think you judged me last year so I definitely think I made a video on this because I'm talk referring to last year in the videos so um, I need to put a post here at the moment I've just got this running out of there there's a piece of tile there there's it's a shambles that's like cracked tile which I've siliconed um, look at that there's I, I don't think that was me but there's literally a tile cracked in half there um, I need to source a heap of these tiles because like I guess the question for you guys is when you get the tiles that are like that that one's aridited on I think but when you have the corner missing off them I'm pretty sure that would allow for water to get in to the roof so I kind of want to replace all them tiles uh, my ridge capping starting to crack just the joys of home ownership um, the ridge cappings was only done when I bought the house too so I wish I knew I wonder if like I could source the details of who did it oh this is definitely one of my more compromised vlogs All right, I'm gonna attach this with some YouTube magic and just like that it is attached so now we're gonna do the one that's over there so I'll see you guys when we get there see that hole all right guys so now we have to squeeze through the wilderness so if you look there I kind of referred to it in yesterday's video that's the algae we're trying to prevent um, I do think it's a mixture of things uh, one of them being see this pot plant the food gets stuck in it and and that's no good for algae um, I need to get a water plant for that pot I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video um, so the biggest problem here we need to get the ladder into that corner this place is bloody Jumanji um, so I need to do some work on the filters so we're actually going to be cutting this right back and um, oh, I don't know how, where I put this last time um, so we're going to be cutting that elephant ear back that's sitting on an air pump currently all right that's stable all right so sorry guys I'm gonna have to do this one off camera I don't trust this ladder with a camera in my hand um, I'll be back all right guys and it's up um, so I managed to get the chain on one tighter link and I've tightened it a bit more so this shade sail has got to be like three to four years old and it still looks brand new guys I can't believe it hasn't faded or anything I didn't cheap out I'm pretty sure I got a good one um, I don't know if it's just like I feel like taking it down for winter makes all the difference um, yeah it's bizarre that it hasn't faded uh, so now we're going to go back in that corner I want to show you a little problem I just found um, so if you guys don't know I think I told you I've got a leaky problem here so I'm thinking about adapting these pipes to 100 millimeters and then you can buy like I can't remember what they're called it's like a it's like a slip on plate and it's like 20 mil, 25 millimeters around and basically you put the 100 millimeters on and you sandwich the plate either side of the 100 millimeters and um what's my point there oh yeah and so that so the IBC gets sandwiched between the two plates and that way you can use the um, PVC cement on the sandwiches and then you can use Sikaflex in the middle um, come into my jungle so I actually want to move these two air pumps here into the shed 
so they're not out in the weather. Shout outs to them Resun LP 40s. Are they 40s? Yeah, they're 40s. They just take it and like you can see the holes in this tarp. It, they get wet and they still kick on. Um, there's the UV light which I kind of want to delete. Um, basically, there's so much plant. So we need to clean this corner out. Um, so just there. You won't be able to see it on camera unfortunately. But I noticed that it's wet underneath that fitting there. But if you look here, so that's that's a 90 mil there. And then this this one here is a 90 mil. So I think I'm just gonna recreate those two pipes in 100 mil. Um, and I'm gonna delete the UV. Uh, I've gotta figure out the plumbing down there. I made a really elaborate piece of plumbing for here. So um, I need to, it's gonna take a lot of work. If I ever wanna use the UV, I think I'll make like a, a basically a, modify this to be like a drop-in version that just drops in here or I could even put I wonder if you could put the UV in the uplift have you guys seen how much flow these make I, I show it on some videos quite often check this out look how much water that is so obviously as you lift it it doesn't work but so imagine, look at the rate that this is getting faster as I go down. So like, imagine once it's completely submerged. See, you can look at the intensity there. Oh, that's sitting on the bottom, but. <laughs> um, so that's why, uh, that's one of the reasons I want to upgrade the size of this pipes. Because if you look how much flow is there, there's not nearly half as much flow that goes to the pond and the reason is because this water level here drops down then this water level here drops down and the pond water level is so much higher by the time it gets from there to there it's lifting the water like a hundred hundred and fifty millimeters like this gets real low and um, basically what the effect of that is is exactly what we saw just here so if I had the water level flush, that's the water would be moving. And then, so we're doing like a hundred millimeters. So that's how much flow we're getting. So it's pretty simple to see the amount of extra flow we can gain just by changing the pipe sizes. Um, I'll show you one more thing. Um, so one of my water flow restrictions is this basket here, but I'm pretty sure I can just delete that basket I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Well, I don't even... And just have this basket here. I don't really think I need this basket here because basically there's a, bas a leaf basket there. So even with no basket there, it'll suck down still and it will end up in there anyway. Um, one of the reasons is also because this basket is starting to fall apart. But yeah, that's a huge restriction as well. To be honest, I don't think my koi pond needs more flow. At the moment, as it sits with the restrictions, I think I'm getting like 15 to 20,000 liters per hour, um, which is one to just over one time an hour turnover, which um, apparently for a koi pond, that's crazy amount. Like koi ponds apparently only, only need like once every four hours or something, but I don't trust that. I come from the aquarium world, so I've kind of met somewhere halfway between what koi keepers recommend and what I recommend for my cichlids. Um, so then the other leak is just here. Um, that's actually... Oh, that's actually got way worse <laughs> since I last looked at. The problem with Sikaflex is it shrinks. Yeah, so I, I, I need to get onto this one like yesterday. That's not good. Has all like 
he, in here is, looks disgusting with all the algae and stuff. So I don't mind the algae in here, I just don't want it in there. <laughs> um, and then, so I've got this overflow over here. Let's see if I can... Oh, uh, this brick's falling in. So, the basket is cement. <laughs> Look how scrunched up this basket is. The basket's supposed to stop, supposed to be stopping this gutter guard from going over that, but you can see it's just chomped up. So these two IVCs, they're just bolted together with nylon bolts. Um, but one thing I wish I did is I made that cutout deeper. You'll see the cutout is quite high, and I actually also get a water level height difference between these two IBCs. So you can kind of see where I'm staying here. Like, if I can get the water from that IBC to that IBC level, and then the water from that IBC to that drum level, I think we'll literally double our flow. Um, the only thing it will do, the more flow that comes out of there, the lower this one will drop. So like, it'll be, the if I can get the water level up in there, that'll come down a bit. So they'll probably meet in the middle. Um, but that's like, I know a lot of people won't understand what I'm trying to say. Um, I think most people that are deeply into fish, they'll understand, but a lot of people struggle to wrap their head around um, water. What's the, t what's the word for it? Water, um, water physics, the physics of water. Um, there's no pumps here. You, you guys saw the air pumps. Oh, actually, tell a lie. There's a little pump that runs these two elephants, but the filter has no pumps. And if that's your first time hearing about that, drop a comment if you want me to do a video teaching you a bit more about how... Uh, I, I just showed you the airlift pumping water, but I didn't actually show you how it works. We'll save that video for another day, guys. Ah, a video about the pond two days in a row guys. I hope you don't mind that. If it does bother you, just drop a comment and I'll try to spread them out a bit more. And also, I do realise a couple of the subjects we talked about yet today are, are, are a repeat of yesterday. But my, my mind doesn't work well enough to remember exactly what I said yesterday. So, um, consider it just an update on things you already knew, maybe. <laughs> But anyway, if you like this video, guys, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button. We're getting so bloody close to 2,000 subscribers. And anyway, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.